that. Listen to me. The reason I stopped you again is because I thought you were... You were and I understand that. And you should have apologized and should have just And I back. do apologize. Okay, I so you. there's no need for you to ask for my identification. Okay. Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On this channel, we look at police interaction videos and we deal with police accountability. Today's video is brought to you by Steve Sally and it involves the Fourth Amendment and ID refusals. Watching this video as this officer tries to violate their Fourth Amendment rights by pulling them over on a bogus traffic stop and demanding ID. Fortunately enough, the citizens in this video know their rights and they're not having it. And they make this officer apologize for trying to violate their Fourth Amendment rights. You're going to love this video. Go subscribe to Steve Sally. Let him know Sam Joaquin Audit sent you. Stick around to the end of the video for some education on your Fourth Amendment rights. So the next time an officer tries to violate your rights, you can do the same thing as this guy did. All right, so I just got pulled over. Um, the cop is saying that he thinks my he thought that my um, inspection stickers are up, which they're not. He uh, just realized that they are not. He still asked for my license, and I told him no because there's no probable cause for me to be stopped. Um, so he asked if I have a driver's license. I told him yes, and he told me to sit tight. He's back at his car, so this is an illegal detainment because uh, I'm not allowed to leave. So uh, I guess we'll see how this goes. What's that? He's fine. He's gonna go try to find some bullshit to fucking say he did. Next time we ask you for your ID, you have to give it to you because you have to identify yourself. Is that, is that the listen law? Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care if you record me. It doesn't affect me. This is for my listen, protection. I'm, record, I'm, I'm recording you too. Perfect. Okay. Mm -hmm. You have to identify yourself. Is as that a, the law? Listen, it is the law. You have to identify. Look it up. She I, can look it look, up right I, now. I know the law. I okay. know the law. She can look it up. Look it up she right now. Have to look I can. I'm not here to argue with you. Listen to me. I'm not here. I'm not here to argue with you. Am I being detained? Okay. You're not being detained. Then I don't need to identify myself. You. You. You have, I have to know that you have a license. No, you don't. You pull everyone have over just day. to check that they have a license? Have a good day. I know the law. Have a good Can day. Can I have your name and badge number? Well, here it is, sir. Uh, Gonzalez, what's your badge number? Okay. I don't have a badge. Do you have a personnel Se number? 7862. I mean, uh, 612. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Cool. I'll be following your report. Okay, do that. Listen to me. The reason I stopped you again is because I thought you were... You were and first. I understand that. What's and that? you should have apologized and should have just And I back. do apologize. Okay, I so you. there's no need for you to ask for my identification okay, but because I there's no probable cause for the stop, right? Again. Come on, you're a cop. You know the stop just like I do. I said, I, I said, I thought you had an expression. I'm free to go, right? Inspection. Have a good day. I'm free to go. Yes, sir. You too. Right. Goodbye. Have a good day. Yeah, have a good one. So as you can see, the citizens in this video did everything absolutely right. They didn't answer questions. They asked questions to flip it back on the officer, and they ultimately didn't give up ID because they were educated on their Fourth Amendment rights. With that being said, I have a clip that I made to help educate you on your Fourth Amendment right, so that way when an officer tries to harass or violate your rights, you can do this same thing. Here it is, people. What is the Fourth Amendment and why is it important? The Fourth Amendment is the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated and no warrant shall issue but upon probable cause supported by an oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized this means that without a warrant and no probable cause that there is a crime then a search would violate your fourth amendment there are however exceptions that could constitute a search without being a violation to your rights the most important and most common exception being consent. This is why we try to beat it into you not to answer any questions. It's been known that officers will use trick questions to try and get consent. For instance, an officer may ask you, do you mind if I search your vehicle? And you say yes, implying that you do mind if he searches your vehicle. Well, they search your vehicle anyways, and then when you tell them why are you searching my vehicle, 
they will twist their words and say, well, you gave us permission. This is why it's best to say, I don't answer questions. You're not doing it to be combative or rude. You're doing it to protect yourself. Don't let an officer tell you otherwise. There is the exclusionary rule when dealing with the Fourth Amendment. Say an officer unlawfully searches your vehicle and find narcotics or weapons in your possession. As long as you can prove the search to be unconstitutional, that evidence may be excluded in court. In conclusion, when trying to remember the Fourth Amendment, remember that no crime and no warrant means no search. Also, if you or a loved one has had an interaction with the police that you'd like me to share, feel free to send the video to my email policeclip6 at gmail.com. It may be featured in a future video on one of my channels.